Owning a home is the American dream. I love my job because I get to help people buy, sell, and improve that American dream. Follow me this week as we explore exciting new trends in Utah's real estate. So Sarah, I called you over because I just listed this beautiful property and as you can tell, uh, the sellers have moved out and it's looking a little barren and we gotta get top dollar for this thing and I know this is, this is what you do is furnish these homes. So tell me, uh, what would you recommend we furnish and not furnish here? Well, we always recommend that you stage the major living areas of the home. The kitchen, the dining area, a great room, the master bedroom. And then if there is a uh, first impression room, like a living room, we always recommend that you do that room as well. Okay, good. They've got a nice neutral palette here. So what sort of style would you recommend we do? Well, what's popular right now is the rough cotton fabrics, but with great pops of color, a good yellow, a nice green, even bringing back purple. Um, these are the things that are going to really make that neutral palette pop. Yeah, that's perfect. Just what we need to be made real popular right now. I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out. Well, Darren, uh, right now down in Highland, under that four hundred thousand dollar mark is really, really hot. There aren't enough houses yeah. uh, on the market, so I thought it'd be a good thing to go down there and take a look at what they got going on. It's kind of a nice sweet spot in that range. Yeah, kind yeah. of near right where you live. Yes, sir. Yeah, That's right. Nice, nice area. Yep. Very nice. Love Highland. I grew up in Highland. Yeah, Highland was one of those areas that uh, built out late, you know, in the in the in the late two thousands. Yes. And it had some large acre lots, and this is an example of that. Um, and as you can see, this one this one was built in two thousand three. It's about thirty four thirty nine square feet. It's on point four zero acres. Uh, and you know it's kind of classic of that style you know big open kitchen one of the things I really like about this particular house the kitchen lays out real well I like how as you come in the front door they've got it guarded but they don't have a full wall they've got kind of a half wall that disconnects it so you don't see that kitchen when you come in but as you wrap around you know so if somebody comes to your front door and you're cooking you know, there's not a mess there, so you right, can hide it. Right. But it also leaves for those nice vaulted ceilings in there. You know, kind of, you know, gives that look through and out, and it kind of embraces that open space, which yeah. I like a lot. Open yet private. Yeah, they've yeah. done a really job of situating the furniture in here, really taking advantage of the space, but not overdoing it. You know, not mm -hmm. packing it in, and so it, the way it lays out, I really like it. Master bedroom, as you can see here, nice clean lines. You know, subtle touches, lots of white, which is really in right now and then the subtle you know colors on the wall yeah i love that ceiling yeah a little tray ceiling mm -hmm. uh, they've got some rope light in there right now and we're seeing right now in con they're putting a lot of led lights up in there and so you instead mm. of just having that that warm yellow light you can turn on blue or green or you know oh yeah and you can just go online and order that stuff and put it in there's really inexpensive Head into the master and uh, the master bath. They've got, of course, separate tub and shower, just like you should have. Um, yeah, lays out quite well. Go into some of the bedrooms here. They've done a nice job. Some paint colors, neutral. Yeah. You know, just uh, nice, built-in shelving's pretty cool. Yeah. So Darren, let's talk on this one. Headed down to the basement here, but I want to talk a little bit about financing and what you'd be looking at on at a price of three ninety nine and and what you're looking at. Yeah, price at three ninety nine nine. This, in my opinion, is a great value. If you were to put twenty percent down on a thirty year fixed loan at four percent, you'd have an APR of four point one three two percent. Your principal and interest portion of your payment would only be fifteen twenty eight. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a great great payment. You'd have taxes and insurance on top of that. But yeah, what a value. Oh, you couldn't rent this house, not even close to that, for right. that much money. And you'd own it. You got that big acreage in the backyard. They've got a separate home theater. I don't know if you saw that in there. Yes. It's separate and they insulated it like crazy. Um, beautiful backyard. 
neighbors uh, look great there. The one neighbor's got um, horses, so I mean, on 0. 0.40 acres, you don't have quite enough for horses, but you maybe you have your neighbor, yeah. you know, board those horses for you. It's a great setting. They say on camera, I'm a little stiff, but I insisted that I be the one to tell you about the world's finest, safest garage door, the Martin door, available at your nearest door, lumber, or hardware company. Tell them Dave Martin sent you. Now what's stiff about that? Here at Real Estate Essentials, we love to support local business, and we love nothing more than local businesses that have international success, and Martin Garage Doors is one of those. So the next time you're looking to buy garage doors, buy local, buy the best, buy Martin Garage Doors. Northern Wasatch Board of Realtors supports Utah home values. Be sure to attend the Northern Wasatch Parade of Homes June 27th through July 12th. AMSCO Windows was founded in Utah over 65 years ago. Our 535,000 square foot facility is one of the largest vinyl window plants in the country. We provide more windows in the state of Utah than all other manufacturers combined, and with AMSCO, your design potential is limitless. At AMSCO, we understand that quality, service, on-time delivery, and pleasing the customer are vital to our success. AMSCO Windows, make your home a masterpiece. It used to be that credit was used primarily to assess risk and lower credit scores paid higher rates and with less favorable terms. These days credit is used in a myriad of ways. Consider employment. Some employers consider low scores to mean less discipline and potential future disloyalty. That's why credit education is more important today than ever before. While Sarah gets started on that staging, let's go talk to Zach about some windows. Hi, I'm Zach with Amsco Windows. Today we're out at a job site and I wanted to show you the benefit of a jump frame application. What that means is when you're looking at replacing your windows, a lot of times people get hesitant to call somebody or ask those questions because they're not sure how that process works. Do I have to go in and repaint everything on the inside? Do I have to pop out stucco? Do I have to replace siding? All those things are very important and they need to be considered, but today this application we're gonna show you is actually one that's a lot less intrusive. And what that means is we're going to leave the exterior frame of the window in place. So we take out the old outdated materials and we're gonna replace it with new high energy efficient products. But during that process, what's left is your interior is still intact and so is your exterior. Another great benefit for that is that you're not disturbing your water barrier that's underneath your exterior building. So if you're ripping that product out and you're not doing it carefully, you run the risk of ruining that water barrier that was there for a reason. So with this jump frame application, you're actually able to still get the benefit of a new energy efficient product, but you don't have to worry about the upkeep or the, the repainting and everything else that sometimes comes with a construction project. So today I brought Casey along with me and I've asked him to help demonstrate just how that looks. So now what we're doing is we've taken the bottom sash out and then Casey's removing the balance springs that are in place. And then what we'll end up doing is taking that top section of glass out as well. Once that's cleared, you can go ahead and apply the new product in there and get an idea of just how that looks. Now Casey makes it look real easy. He's a professional, obviously. Another question we get quite often is just how is that glass fastened? And what it is is you've got a double stick tape or caulking on the interior there that Casey's cutting away. And then on the exterior, you've got glazing bead which holds it in place and makes it look aesthetically pleasing so that you don't see an unfinished uh, edge from the glass. Once that's cut away, your glass will actually pop out just like that. 
You're left here with a meeting rail. This Now this is gonna need to come out. Again, Casey's got some unique tools that'll make that happen. So now you've got your opening here. The window's already been measured, so the, the installers have come out and taken that measurement on where that needs to be, and then at AMSCO we can go ahead and customize that product to your exact opening. So there's not really a standard in place for that. Um, once you have that opening, the new window can be plugged in to make sure it's gonna fit properly. I do recommend that when you're doing this, you always make sure you're working with a licensed contractor, somebody you trust who's got a, a reputable, uh, somebody you trust who is reputable in the business. You may have noticed that this flange is a little bit different than your typical nailing fin. A lot of windows will have a nailing fin on the inside for new construction application. On this retrofit process though, we use what we call a flush fin. This process is really developed in California, and currently it's the only way that's legal to replace a product in a home in that state. So you're seeing that technology and that kind of movement come further. Another cool feature to this particular product is the type of glass that we selected for this home. What we've got here is low E and gray mixed together. Now low E is actually a silver layer that goes in between your glass. You don't actually see it, but because of the gray, you get to see the tint involved. Now the benefit to that, it, it looks nice, but it also increases the energy value of your product. It blocks more heat in the summer, allowing your house to stay cooler throughout the year. All right, for this house, Darren, we're headed on down to Sandy, and I, I love the name of this street. It's called Old Barn Drive. Old Barn Drive, yep. I like it. Cool. And so this one's listed at $375,000, and I don't know if you can tell by the outside, but this house is immaculate. It looks like it is brand new. They've done a great job of, you know, with their colors and style and design, and it looks like it's, I mean, it might as well be brand new. I really like it. I like that uh, window right there, the opening with the vault. Yeah. What I like most about this house, as we go and look through it, they did a really unique job of their paint color scheme. It's almost, you're going to notice they're, they're bright and kind of bold colors, but at the same time, they're, they're muted, and so they're real soft tones, and so it stands out, but it's also got this nice neutral base to it, which, which I really like. Not in your face. Not in your face, yeah. like, you know, I just stood in a house the other day and I had like a purple wall and it was like, you know what I mean? But you want that kind of style and design and as you can see, they did this mute, nice muted green in the kitchen and then they did a white backsplash uh, in, in a stainless steel appliances and that's that's a real good look. I like yeah, it. it is. It has character, but it's not too in your face. Yeah, it's yeah, not, it's like not you know, upsetting to the eye and, you know, it's uh, and nice distressed and granite countertops, of course, right? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. They pulled in that wood in there, so the woods and the green, I mean, that's in the white. It kind of jumps off. Head into the master here, vaulted ceilings, which is always very, very nice. Mm -hmm. The arch window on the top there, something yeah. I like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you see all those uh, notches and everything they put into this? A lot of character in the room, a lot of abilities for do some creative uh, decorating. Head into the master bath here. Real nice, clean lines. You notice that? Mm -hmm. Everything in this house is just ultra clean and smooth and a huge tub. It's got a fresh feel to it. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. And this is an example of, this is a purple that they picked out, but you'll notice it almost, you almost don't even notice. That's right. Yeah. And 
neutral clean lines, which I really like a lot. Headed down to the basement, they've got that finished out. Looks great. Little kind of home theater room, exercise room combination. Mm hmm. Another example, one of those bedrooms where the there's paint and color on the wall, but they almost pull it in through their style and design. They, they did a, I really like the style and the character of the way they, they, they put this together. This is a great character. I, I do too. I, again, has a nice character, but not overdone. Yeah, super clean. I like it. Beaner Marble and Granite has been locally owned and operated since 1960, providing all of your granite needs from high-end luxury all the way down to half-priced granite. Come on in, use our team, and let us transform your home with affordable, luxurious countertops here at Beaner Marble and Half-Priced Granite. AMC Links, superior nationwide appraisal services. We have the most competitive turn times in the industry. We are registered and doing business in all 50 states. We are an industry leader in new construction appraisals. Why AMC Links? Superior technology, management, compliance, and service. First registered and legally operating AMC in the country. Over six years and going strong. We understand the keys to success in lending. We view ourselves as a true partner and extension of you. Check out our boat products from three to next day services. and no one likes to do it. It should be an adventure, and we here at Wasatch Moving Company make it one. We are that extra bit of help that everyone needs. Let us take the stress out of moving for you with our excellent and careful staff and our flat rate affordable pricing. Call Wasatch Moving Company today, the official movers of Real Estate Essentials with Jay Deere on ABC. Jay Deere here. Do you want to sell your home faster and for more money? We do what other realtors do, but get this, being ABC4 Utah's real estate specialist gives me the opportunity to give your home maximum exposure. List with the J. Deere team and your home will be featured on its own TV commercial, as well as get a full motion video tour by my professional camera crew with me personally talking about the selling features of your home linked to the multiple listing service. And with the power of Brookshire Hathaway Home Services, it's automatically added to 40,000 websites and put onto the International Relocation Database. The J. Deere marketing system sells houses faster and for more money. And don't forget about J. Deere's perk package. Each seller gets a moving package from Wasatch Moving Company, a free year of direct TV, and carpet cleaning. The best part of the whole thing is it doesn't cost anything more than a regular agent. If you want to sell your house faster and for more money, then list it with me and see it on TV. So I just got word that Sarah's done staging that property. I'm excited to see how that turned out. Sarah got a chance to look around and this turned out incredible. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, let's go ahead and start off with the first impression room and that's the living room. One of the great features of that room was the lattice um, stained wall. Mm -hmm. So we just brought in some simple couches, but great bright pillows so that we didn't take anything away from what the major feature was of that room. Yeah, I like it. Right when you walk in the front door, it just pops. Exactly. Yeah. Then we move into the office. Now with the office, it was a large scale. So we brought in a nice formidable jelly bean desk. Um, but the one thing that we really liked that we brought into the room was some chairs with a um, sort of natural nature print on them, which again for Utah is actually quite popular. Now the 
kitchen is absolutely gorgeous. I think they've made a lot of great decisions on the cabinets and on the hardware. So we just made it look warm and cozy with a few things to just accent the space. Well now for the dining room, we made sure that number one, we showed how many people for the total number of rooms in this house could actually sit at the table. And when I saw this house, I knew the table that I wanted to bring in immediately. It was a great, nice warm woods, but with rough cotton seating, which is extremely popular right now. But then we played off by adding some blue plates and glasses to just really make it sparkle. So tell me about the living area over here. Now the living area, we actually went with the midnight blue couch and the dark blues is really coming back this season. Additionally, also some gold accents, which again, is also very popular, but against the uh, winks coating wall, the fireplace, the natural stone of the fireplace, this whole setup really made the room look inviting. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so headed in the master bedroom, I, uh, tell me a little bit about this bed. It's really unique. Now the bed that we chose was actually, we went with the high tufted bed because they went with the broad stripes against that wall. But then on the nightstands, we actually made sure we didn't block out what you could actually see with the bold lines. And then we went with a yellow comforter. So again, bringing in the bright colors. Yeah, I love this. This has just turned out beautiful. This is exactly what the seller needs because this is gonna be able to get them top dollar for the house. Uh, because it's sometimes hard for these buyers when they walk into vacant houses. They really can't get the, the concept of space and colors and design and what they can do. And it doesn't cost that much money, but it really can bring some, some big dollars for the seller. Mm -hmm. All right, Darren, for this one, we're gonna be headed down to Grizzly Hollow Cove there in Draper. And this is, this is a beautiful property situated perfectly up on the hill with incredible views looking over the whole valley. And some of those views are unbelievable, I yeah. think. And this is one of those properties. You'll yeah. notice uh, on the, it just kind of rolls up on a hill and it looks down on everything. They've done some real nice work with, the, with their brick and their rock on the exterior. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So we head on the inside, you're going to notice a big vaulted ceilings, open space, all those beautiful hardwood floors, and nice, just the way I like it, they've done, they've used uh, their colors on the wall to be kind of neutral, and then they've used pops of color, mm -hmm. you know, through, which is it's so Like popular. those cabinets, right? Yeah. yeah, and that would be your pop of color. You don't overdo it on the walls, but you kind of overdo it in your kitchen. And they've, again, one of the things I really like, they situated that kitchen just off. And so you walk into a great room, but you can't see it from the front door. And this is something uh, you always look for in a house. Right. Yeah. Keeps a little bit more private. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't want somebody walking in and, and seeing your kitchen. And, and some houses do this really well. Some of them struggle with this concept. But if you ever go and you always know, talk about resale, you never want to have that house that opens up to the kitchen because mm -hmm. uh, there are a percentage, maybe 50% of the buyers just aren't interested because they don't want to get put in those situations. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's important. If yeah, I mean, you may love is. the house. It's like that thing. It's on the busy street, but I love that house. Mm -hmm. You know, I've dealt with that myself. You always want to make sure it's all, you know, done right. Heading on into the master bedroom, as you can see, this very nicely laid out uh, master bath. Very spacious, and they got an awesome tub in this I one. love that tub, that's sweet. Yeah. Very clean looking, huh? Yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All those jets and see that right there on their on their wall yeah that would be really cool to do some lights on the top of that on the side and so it just yes. kind of shines down that would be a really cool effect that they could add in that which would just make that thing jump off it oh, looks yeah. great but that is i always look at houses and i'm always thinking about what i can do to change them that's right <laughs> <laughs> that's one thing i noticed i really like their styles and design again notice that they kind of went with those real pops of color which is so popular right now the two-tone looks great in there i love yeah, that in that uh, really bathroom good. And now we're looking out over their, over their beautiful view. Think about that, you're sitting on your front porch, and that's why on the front, as we walked up to this house, you'll notice they had a, a couple things sitting out there. They can, there's another example. They can just sit out there and just enjoy those views. It's a great view. Yeah, lots of rocks. A little bit more fresh air in the wintertime, no doubt. Yeah, I mean, you're right yeah. against the mountains here, right? Yeah. I mean, you're about as close to it as you can get. So I'm out with these buyers and they're looking out in Harriman. I really don't know too much about Harriman. Tell me about that community. 
Harriman is growing really aggressively right now, and uh, the reason why, um, it's one of the last places in the valley to, to get land, inexpensive, and build. All these people want to build these new homes, and Harriman is uh, just growing like fast. Yeah, I've, I've heard that. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are the land values like out there? They're going up like crazy because supply and demand. Our our market in Salt Lake gets really condensed by the mountains mm -hmm. on, on both sides. Um, and so we can build north and south really well, but to get land in there, but nobody really wants to go really north and south. They want to right. stay kind of in the financial hubs. And so Harriman is one of the last places in the, in the valley that's being developed where you can get an expensive land. And that's why you're seeing so much going on. Their market is, is going absolutely crazy out there right now. Everybody wants a new home and they want an, an affordability. It's always an issue. The other thing, you'll notice that the more east you go, the higher the values are typically because you get a little bit higher up and a little bit farther. The more west you go, it seems like the values go down because, you know, and the reason why that is, yeah. is because our, our, if you notice, our freeway systems work really well going north and south, but they don't do a very good job on the freeways going east and west. No, you know, I noticed in Utah County, they're a little bit better mm -hmm. to access Eagle Mountain, but... Yeah. What does Harriman have? Well, Harriman, they've they? just literally put that freeway out there. They've started developing the freeway system that's running out there, and now all of a sudden accessibility is a lot better, and that's why you're seeing inexpensive land and accessibility by the freeways, and that's why Harriman's growing so quick.